So I was looking at some sites on the internet and I noticed that they had some cylinder head covers and I wanted one because I'm going to go to a car show this weekend but the one I wanted is like $70 so I'm going to go ahead and make my own it's a cover that goes right on here to dress up the engine a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is take this piece of computer paper put it down there in place and then just press around the edges of the cylinder head and it'll make a mark so I know where to trace and cut. Now that I have the etching on the paper I'm just going to move my pencil along where it's etched on the paper to make it easier to see. Now that I have it traced onto the paper I'm just going to start cutting it out. What you're left with is this shape in the computer paper. We're going to take it over to make sure it fits. So it looks pretty good. And then um, once you have it on here, you can kind of push your finger where the screw holes are going to go so you can get them etched in as well and then we can poke those holes out so screws can go through them. So I found this um, top to a cake box. I like to use this cardboard better because it doesn't have the ribs going through it that'll bend so it's just nice and flat for when we paint it. And um, I just put the cut out here and I traced around it so then now it's on the cardboard. So now with the cardboard cut out um, I'm going to put the heat shielding on the side that's going to go against the cylinder head. After I have all the heat tape on, then I just take my scissors and uh, just start cutting around the edges to get all the excess tape off. My original paper cut out, um, I had etched the where the bolts go, where the bolt holes are, so um, I marked those out on it and then um, just put them on the cardboard. And I'm going to take my pencil mark it and then uh, do the circles on it so I know where to put the holes. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take my pen now I'm gonna take my pen poke a hole in the middle be careful not to bend the cardboard and then take one of the EGR bolts, screw it through to make the hole bigger. Once you have those holes poked, take the bolt, stick it in there, start threading it through until it goes all the way through. Then you can back it back out. And then you have the hole there. Before I before I painted it, I just wanted to do a test fit to make sure I had the bolt holes correct, and um, they're pretty good, so I'm going to paint it now. First, I spray painted it uh, with some primer, and now I'm going to uh, use this Dupacolor paint I got at uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts. So this is how it turned out. Looks pretty good. I'm going to install it on the car put a few decals on it. I have this page of uh, Trans Am decals, so I'm going to put some decals on the middle and then install it. So these are the stickers I'm going to put on it. So this is the finished product. Right there. I think it looks pretty good. Cleans up the engine bay a lot.